Italy is a country to be reckoned with in Eurovision. In addition to their latest victory with the rock band Morneskin, they can stand proud with two more victories and many more top five positions. Despite their fine results, Italy has chosen not to participate several times. The longest period of absence lasted from 1998 until their return in 2011, when Italy made a very strong comeback. Rafael Guarazzi ended up on second place in Dusseldorf. After 2011, the good results kept on coming, with another seven top ten placements. The biggest achievement is of course the winning entry Zitia Buoni. Italy has a history of sending artists who already have a successful career in their own country. A lot of them came directly from the famous Festival di San Remo. Renato Raskel, who competed at Eurovision in 1960, is a good example. He had already made fame across multiple platforms, including film, theatre and music. After that, Italy continued to send many national stars to the Eurovision stage. Several Italian songs have also become international classics after the competition. Nobody can have missed the famous song Nel Blu di Pinto di Blu. It won two American Grammy Awards during its first ever ceremony back in 1959. The song, also known as Volare, spent five weeks on top of the Billboard Hot 100. Italy kept on creating hits. This is some of the other tunes that climbed high in the international charts. Finally, we now see the successes that this year's Italian winner created when after the Eurovision victory, 
they took rock and roll up to countless charts worldwide. We just want to say to the whole Europe, to the whole world, rock and roll never dies! <laughs>